Hi guys, hope you all doing well. Welcome back to our series of Azure Active Directory. And in this video, we are going to talk about OAuth 2.0 client credential flow. And we will be using this particular flow to access Microsoft Graph API, which is protected by Azure Active Directory. Now, if you're watching the series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about OAuth authorization code flow, wherein a user specific information can be queried by a particular application. We also discussed about sending a postman and how to use an access token with Microsoft Graph. Whereas the agenda of this video will be knowing how to use OAuth client credential flow and for which application you should implement this particular flow, which endpoints will be used from Azure AD perspective and how to request a token with which we can query Microsoft Graph. Now, since we have already covered about authorization code grant flow, the agenda of this video will be knowing the client credential flow, but we also have resource owner password flow and implicit flow. These are the four different flows that are offered by OAuth 2.0. Now, when it comes to the functionality of these protocols, be it OAuth 2.0 or OpenID Connect, we know that these protocols have authorization layer separated from authentication. And that's the reason why there are concepts of consent framework or the process wherein a user has to approve a specific access for a specific application when it comes to their own resources. So in a nutshell, or 2.0 client credential flow, we will be using this particular flow to access resources that are protected by Azure AD and the resource which we will be accessing will be Microsoft Graph. Now let's talk about in which condition you will be choosing this particular flow when you are developing an application that acts as a daemon or that runs under the hood and queries certain information wherein there is no user interaction in those kind of scenarios you can implement client credential flow now some of the required parameters for this particular flow is client id and client secret the endpoint that will be used in this particular flow will be token endpoint and as you can see i have listed the v2.0 endpoint of my tenant now, again, there is a request which your application is sending to a specific endpoint of Azure AD. It should be structured. So some of the parameters which are required, client ID, client secret, and then grant type. Now, when you mention grant type as client credentials, this actually means that you are using client credential flow. Once this request is processed by Azure Active Directory, then there will be an access token that will be given to application. Yes, you heard it right. It will be given to application. And once we will decode the token, I will show you what is mentioned from an application perspective and what claims are mentioned for the respective application. But because what we have to understand that there is no user interaction happening, okay? And your application is getting the privilege to access all the user's data. So the access token is given to the application. Now, there is a sort of configuration that needs to be done on portal.azure.com before you can use client credential flow. So what I'll do is I'll quickly switch to my browser where I have signed in as global admin and I will register an app and show you which permission you have to manually grant as admin so that you can use client credential flow. So this is my browser where I have signed in as global admin and I'm going to register a new app. Since I'm going to use OAuth client credential flow, that's exactly what I'm going to name it as. Let's say OAuth hyphen client. Okay. I'll select the first option and here I'm just going to mention HTTPS forward slash local host. Okay. And then I'm going to click on register. Now, as of now, an application object and a service principal object is created for my application. And the permission that you have to grant is the graph permission for a specific API. Now, there is a slight difference in terms of the application that is granted out of the box the moment you add an application. And this is a delegated permission. Now, what do I mean by this? That when your application will request 
a particular access from a user that means there is a user interaction and you can relate this to auth code flow the application can only access the information of the user which has consented or which has approved the access but what is going to happen with client credential flow since this is a service app which doesn't require any user interaction once you grant a consent for this particular application this application can access the information that's moreover related to all the users so in a nutshell honestly if i'll talk about this is something which you don't even need for a client credential flow okay so what you can do is you can click on add a permission and then click on microsoft graph and then click on application permission and scroll down to the bottom there will be an option of user select this option which says user read all and then click on add permission now as of now this permission has added but it is not being consented and again there will be no consent prompt that you can receive with client credential flow so what you can do is you can click on this option which says grant admin consent and then click on yes that's all you have to do okay so now the next step is to create a client secret and that's exactly what i'm going to do i have created a client secret here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch to my postman app where i will be using this client id and client credential and i will show you guys how you can generate a request for a specific application that is going to query the entire user details now as you guys can see that this is my postman console which we have been using for our last demo as well and the endpoint that we were accessing was forward slash me okay now here me was used or with authorization code flow this forward slash me was used because we were accessing user specific information right but since we have consented our application to use client credential flow and access all the users information make sure you change this endpoint to forward slash users now if i'll click on send i should get an error and what says access token is empty and as you can see there is no information getting mentioned here so now in order to request a new access token make sure you have selected auth 2.0 in the type section and then click on get new access token in the grant type you have to select client credential instead of authorization code and the moment you will select client credential what you will see there is only one endpoint which will be used now this is the client id and client secret of my application which i have just created and in the scope i have mentioned the default scope of microsoft graph now the moment i will click on request token i should get a new token which is named as auth hyphen client i'll click on use token so that this particular token which we have just requested should get mentioned over here and now when i will click on send i will get the list of all the users that exist in my directory so now if i'll scroll down you can see all the users and each and every attribute of my user is getting listed now let's say i want to query a specific user what i can do is i can copy this object id value and then i will paste it over here and i will click on send so as of now you can see that i'm querying the user that has upn user 31 at conceptswork.com so this is how you can use client credential flow to query microsoft graph with the help of postman now there is one more thing which we have to verify and that is the claims which are present in this particular token so what i'll do is i'll copy this value and i'll go to my browser and then we'll decode this token and see what all information is mentioned. So this is my browser. I'm going to sign into jwt.ms and then I'm going to decode our token which we have received. And as you can see that this token is intended for my application and it has this particular access for the protected api which is graph.microsoft.com so that it can query all the information so this was all about knowing how things work in a client credential 
flow. So now let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed. We have discussed about OAuth client credential flow, a specific token endpoint which is used with this flow. And then we have seen how to grant permission firstly on Azure portal so that you can request a token from Azure AD and that will be used to access Microsoft Graph. In the next video, we will be talking about OpenID Connect. Now, if you guys have learned something new, please feel free to subscribe. And if you think our channel is helping you to learn more, please feel free to share this with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.